Hey guys, I'm back. This is a call for Freedom Fighters. Um, I haven't been uploading in a while because they have banned my free speech, like always. So, um, as you can see, I'm back and <clears throat> I will be making videos about the Canada protest, which I am long overdue for, and I don't think it's even the right time to do it because of the situation that's going on right now. But hell, who knows? I might do it. So here we go. What is the role of the United States military in trying to limit the danger that you're describing and trying to increase... Oh, my bad. This is the video about one way Putin's um, invasion could backfire. Pain, uh, reduce the potential reward for Putin here. Obviously, President Biden is clear as day that there's not going to be any U.S. troops fighting in Ukraine. Um, but we are which is a sad thing, but understandable because you don't want to cause a, a bigger conflict because if we get involved then the whole world will get involved and then China will get involved then you know all everything it'll be a whole world war three and it won't it won't end well for anyone but people I see on the comment sections uh, of these videos they be like, why don't we get involved because you there's more to it than just, than just getting involved. If we get involved, that means we at home over here will have to get involved. We will have to take up arms over here. That's how big this would be. It'll be all. There'll be threats from inside the U.S. It'll be threats from inside over there. It'll, it'll be. It'll just be all out war. It'll be. We will have to fight even in the U.S. We will have to fight in here. We will have to take up arms because they they got people that heavily support Russia in the United States, so we, there will be threats in the U.S. You understand what I'm saying? And then the, it's a likelihood that the war will come to us, so we will have to defend. So it, it's just a whole list of things that could trickle down to the very last... Uh, you just, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole list of stuff, people. Uh, but I just want to get out of the way. are seeing thousands of Americans deployed... Um, to Ukraine's borders, and um, that wouldn't be happening if there wasn't a reason to do it. What does the U.S. military contribute to America's capabilities here um, as, as Putin seems to still be expanding his attack? Well, of course, as is designed uh, in our Constitution, the, the military is an instrument for use by the civilian leadership. And so, uh, frankly, I have to say, as an old retired guy, I'm very proud of how quickly U.S. Army Europe, uh, U.S. European Command, uh, our great Air Force, how everybody has reacted and responded to move capabilities around, to put them in place in time to give our political leaders some options um, to, and also to signal to the Kremlin that this is, this is not some exercise, this is not an academic thing, this is for real. And we are prepared, and that's the essential nature of deterrence. Now, I had a, a good friend from Lithuania a couple of years ago who was talking to me about how much they wanted to have American soldiers there. I said, what? It says right here, um, U.S. officials, Russia has launched over 160 missiles. Now, granted, um, a lot of those missiles probably didn't hit the targets. Pop, a lot of them probably were intercepted. So 160 missiles out of what you know they, they're not saying really in the detail how many of those target uh missiles hit the targets but it's probably some likelihood that a lot of the, the missiles actually uh did not hit the targets and hit other other places where civilians were you know you just never know it's just it's like a straight bullet you just never know people why, why is it so important to have americans here we have allies from multiple countries he said general hodges uh, Russia has never fought against American soldiers. They are scared of American soldiers. That's why we all want American soldiers, Americans here. And, and I think, actually, uh, this is probably going to be one of the outcomes of uh, President Putin's uh, reckless um, and terrible calculations. He's going to end up with permanent basing of American soldiers in Poland, Lithuania, Romania, Latvia, and Estonia. Um, instead of rotational, he's going to have permanent on his doorstep uh, because all of these countries know what it's like. And, and we all recognize now what the Kremlin uh, is up to and, and how Putin, what Putin is willing to do.
Yeah, he's, he's settled the argument as to his malign intentions. He has proven uh, all of his worst critics um, correct in an irrefutable way. Retired Lieutenant General uh, Ben Hodges, former commander of the U.S. Army in, in Europe. General, it is it is great to see you. Uh, come back soon. I'd love to have you back as soon as you're ready. All right. Um, yeah, so even if he invades Ukraine, there still will be... Uh, uh, like say for instance he takes he takes over Ukraine. I don't want to say that, but just say for instance, which is um, I I don't know. I just say for instance that they are they take over that country, right? They'll still be on the border of the NATO countries, so it doesn't matter even if he takes that country over. They'll still be neck and neck, and that's never good because there's no buffer point anymore if he takes that over. There's nothing to separate NATO and, and the USSR. So, what is, what is like, we was never going to, I don't think we was, I don't know. We probably was going to join um, with Ukraine as NATO, but who knows. Uh, Russia got scared. They pulled their, their card. He's flexing his muscles right now, so. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, but I can tell you what. Th this is not going to end good for Russia. I'll tell you that. I'm going to say that right off the bat. All right, guys. Like, subscribe. It's good to see you guys again. I know, I know you're glad to see my face again. It's just been a while because they kept banning my videos because you know what? Can't say what it is about because they don't want me talking. You know, we're, we're, we're busy uh, defending their democracy. How about our democracy over here? Our free speech. Like Carl said. All right, guys.